Good evening, welcome back to Pouring Through Life. I'm gonna do a test pour. I'm creating a, or trying to create a silver cell activator and I've been kind of playing around with it for a few weeks now and trying to get it going and see if it works. So I'm gonna do a test pour. Uh, the colors I'm gonna do today are Color Art Pink Azalea, Color Art Hopeful Honeysuckle, Interference Violet, Hydrangea from Color Art, uh, Amsterdam Persian Rose, and Dragonfly Glaze. Uh, it is, I can't read it anymore, so let me grab the bottle. It is the Red Violet Blue Shift. So I'm gonna, I've been kind of playing around with how I layer my colors. I used to always start with dark and go to the lightest, but I think it works better the reverse in as far as effects. Um, so I have the silver cell activator mixed up and it is maybe still too thick, but if it doesn't work, I don't want to waste any more of my Aussie Floetrol. Um, I got an order of paints in today and they were all opened. and I, scraped out a little bit to try to see if I could get it to work. So the brand I'm trying out is, is it Atelier um, Interactive Silver? Uh, they were all open and they're all hard and it's such a bummer. I've been waiting for a few weeks for these to come in. I got that one, I got Prussian Blue Hue. This one is solid all the way through. Um, just gross and then the black oxide or carbon black is fine this one totally okay out of all of them this is the only one that's good so I called my vendor and hopefully they'll take care of that because those are not cheap paint pretty expensive so I'm kind of disappointed so I'm gonna start out with hydrangea and it's lovely it's it's very purple um kind of like a off white shifting metallic -y lavender color oh there's a clump never fails i haven't used this for a little while so there's a clump and this color hydrangea is from the dragon fly wing set of color art and they're very soft colors very pastel metallic -y, pearly loveliness um, very pretty I, I really do like them all honestly um, I'm going to put a little bit of interference violet on top of this if you haven't seen my interference video that I did on black gotta check it out it's I did it in three parts because I wanted to show you guys the resin um, painting so it's 62 a B and C <laughs> video and it's amazing the, it really lets you see what the interference colors are so this is pink azalea from color art it's really pretty pink So I did the light. Now this would be the dark. Okay, so that's that. So then I'm gonna do Persian rose. I'm going to put some more interference. I forgot to do my table. If you haven't purchased interference colors from Color Art yet, I would say this is that would be the best addition you could add to your paint arsenal because it's really magical. 
I don't know what they do when they make their paints, but it's amazing, honestly. Just popping a bubble or two, three. Um, so I'm gonna do the hopeful honeysuckle next. It's kind of a peachy pink. Goes really nice with the Persian rose. Okay. I haven't decided if I want to do a second layer of the other colors. I'm just going to do it because more is less is more. No. This is the hydrangea. I like that it's almost to the end because then I get to mix it again, which is kind of my happy place. Mixing paint, my happy place. Weird or not, makes me happy. Um, I'm gonna end with interference in the dragonfly glaze, I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this first. So this will be the dragonfly glaze. And it's really kind of a cool little sparkly, glittery, um, I guess you could use it as a top coat. I just add it for a little extra sparkle because I love that in my blooms. I like to have that prettiness. Okay, so I have Interference Violet. I'm going to end with the pink azalea on top because I want to do a black cell activator topped with the silver I'm trying out. And I just think it's strikingly beautiful when you use black cell activator. It is by far my favorite cell activator. And I mean, I love white with the blues, but there's just something so cool about the black cell activator. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little tiny bit, actually, yeah, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of the pink azalea. Okay, so that, and then I'm going to top it off, should I do hopeful honeysuckle? So I didn't combine those two together. When I lay them out, I kind of lay them out where each primary, you know, like the brightest color is paired with the lightest color. So the only pairing that's not in here is these two together. What do you think? End it there. Sometimes I wish I would do a live, but I'm not brave enough to do it. I don't know how they do it. Those of you that are brave enough to do the live, I just, I'm not brave. So I'm gonna put interference on top, and that's my final answer. It's really thick, my interference is a little thick. But I did just redo my pouring medium a little bit. So they're all kind of thick right now, which I'm okay with. When I do a bloom, I like my paint thick. All right, so I'm going to do black topped with the silver. And let's see what magic we can create using the tiniest leaf blower in the world, which I normally don't use for the size of a... A pour. I usually use my hair dryer. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Okay, so this is the black, and it is Lamp Black by Amsterdam. I've been started cleaning off the tip when I, as soon as I'm done closing my cell activator, and it is haloing instantly, which is what I look for. That's how I know it's going to work. When a cell activator is good, you'll get a halo. So 
This is the silver. It's a tad heavy. Okay. It's a tad heavy. It's not haloing, so it might not work. So let's check it out. funky blowout. Not my best work. I snuffed up the blowout completely terribly bad. But I've watched Mandy from Hope Designs do her silver select ritter, which is how I got the idea to try this particular brand. Um... She said it was very stretchy and it, you know, did that thing. So, figured I'd get, you know, try it out. We'll see if I can get it to work out. <laughs> I don't know. I blew too far into the pillow paint, which is never a good idea. Unless you're wanting the pillow paint as part of your painting, that is. Which, I don't care, because this is just white paint. Oh, that's the paint I didn't even tell you about. So my pillow paint is Color Place Semi-Gloss White. Mixed, I mix it with Oatrol, only because I wanted, I bought Oatrol to try it out as with my cell activator mix. And it doesn't work at all. And it's very thick. And then I uh, use XIM, which does work for a cell activator if you want to. However, the lacing breaks. Uh, it's just not the best quality product for lacing. And uh, GAC 800, and that as you know, anybody that's used it knows that it helps with your paint quality. So it helps keep it from cracking and crazing when too much paint is used or it's too wet. I'm gonna try to blow this out a little bit. Virtually no cell lacing on this side at all. So, I mean, it's there, but I, I don't have the formula right yet. Just letting it recollect back into the center, and then I'm going to add a couple dollops of paint and re blow it with my hair dryer because um, I suck at it with that little one. I'm just going to get out big boy here because this hair dryer is amazingly good with icing. I almost just knocked over the whole container of cell activator. Okay, so let's see here. Let me make sure I'm back in frame. Here. Just putting some of this paint back on because it's my my table's not level, so. Right, so let me just tilt. Okay, so I'm gonna do a dollop of. 
the lighter colors and top it. And then I'm gonna re-blow it out. I'm gonna leave everything where it is because you can see the interference coming over. And I've got some really cool effects with this layer of paint, but the lacing sucks. I, I was terrible and I didn't do great on that. So I'm gonna start, just gonna put a dollop of each color again and um, yeah, that'll work. It doesn't even matter what layer I put them down. This is the hydrangea. Uh, there's your nose. Okay. Um, let's go with interference violet. Gazelle on top. And dragonfly glaze. He claimed he was a Fuselah and that I was one of Methuselah's wives. Okay. And lastly, the interference violet. All right, so black again. All right, sorry about that. I lost you for a minute. I ran out of memory. I need to go through and delete old stuff. I just haven't done it yet. So I took me a couple minutes to figure out what to delete. So my cell activator has been sitting in here the whole time. Okay, so I'm going to put the silver on. I still think it's too thick, but it doesn't work this time. I'm not going to spend any more Floetrol on this. Okay, so big boy hair dryer coming out to play. It just is. You don't have to be so like uh, cautious when you use it. It just it works better. I mean, if you want to do some specific shape or something, then yeah, you do that. But you saw how willy nilly I just did that, and look at the result. It's amazing. Much better. Muchy, much better. I don't know why I even try it. The little one works fine on the coasters. But it doesn't really work on anything bigger than a 6x6 six six tile. I'm just going to close my paint while this is collecting back to the center. And then we're going to go to my pool, which I keep in my messy kitchen. And we're going to throw a spin on it. And... See what we get. It's magical. <laughs> I love this. It's like the highlight of my day today. Let me tell you. I've lost my voice from all the talking I've had to do this week. <clears throat> my voice is just like toast. take this to my pool so I can do it without spilling all over my house.
guys. I'm going to figure out how to pause my camera. <laughs> so I had to give it a little puff in the center because that silver was too thick. It wasn't wanting to break through. So if you look deep down in there, it's now I created a little bit more lacing in the center because that silver just didn't want to break away. So that's how I know that it is too thick of a cell activator. If it <clears throat> was the right consistency, I wouldn't have to do anything. It would just automatically do it. And that is so pretty. I wonder if there's like a, like a pause where you can take a photograph of, you know, a video. I have to figure that out. So I zoom right in. There's a bubble. It's just gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I just, I love it so much. And I'm not even like a tenth of the way done. So I just wanted to give it a few extra seconds in the center there because you can see that it isn't all the way leveled back out yet because that hair dryer is super powerful uh it takes a little longer for the paint to collect itself back to the center but if you spin too soon you could make the lacing go wonky i think we're ready though come back out a little bit there My favorite sound. This is how I know I over blue. You can see the pillow paint through. Pretty. Wow, that is so pretty. There's a lot of cell activator left though. That black streak, but I don't care. Ah, that is really pretty. It's not so harsh with the silver on top. If it was just black, that would be a lot harsher to look at sitting on the floor and now I've got to get up and carry the thing back so I'm gonna um yeah do that how pretty is that oh, I got paint all over my phone stupid stupid me stupid me okay Look at how pretty that is. <sighs> she made me work for it though. She wasn't gonna behave nicely, but wow. I like it a lot. And I'm not much of a huge pink person, but I don't really like the center there because I blew too hard. But I needed to break up that center a little bit because there's just too much silver or cell activator in the center. It's too heavy. I gotta thin it a tad bit more. But now I know it'll work. And the layers of the colors, because it was a double pillow, is there a double pour because it wasn't working out? It's really pretty. I like it a lot. I think it's really pretty. All right, you guys. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and share. Uh, it really does help a lot with uh, getting the word out there about a site and getting our videos watched. All right, you guys. I'll see you on the next pour. Bye for now. Also, all the colors will be linked in the description of the video. So recipes, colors, brands, and all that jazz will be in the description of the video. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you on the next part.